kitchen renovation or are building a new home i gonna share with you my top six design tips to help you plan your dream kitchen they are all very important points that need to be carefully considered before you begin your kitchen project probably the most important aspect to think about when planning a new kitchen or any space for that matter is to determine what function you wish it to serve you may be thinking that's a silly question i need a kitchen to cook and yes you are totally right cooking is the main function of a kitchen however over the years it has become so much more than that it has become the heart of the home a place we were gather and spend most of our time it's become the single most important room in the house just think of all the things you do in your kitchen every day besides cooking eating and also working and watching tv and reading mail chat with any kids after school help them in their homework hanging out with any friend now this may not be everything you wish to be doing in your space and that's fine that's why it's so important to narrow down exactly what you see yourself doing in this space and how to make it work for your family here's a few points to consider when thinking of the function of your kitchen how do you plan on using it every day besides cooking what other daily activities do you like to do in the kitchen do you like to entertain how much seating do you need number two take into consideration the work triangle one thing to consider when planning your kitchen is the flow of your workspace or as we in the design world like to call it the work triangle the work triangle is the distance between your stove refrigerator and sink a good triangle will result in a fiction workflow and allows you to move with ease between the three most used points a poor work triangle will cause you to run all over your kitchen to access the most important aspects of your kitchen imagine running across the room to empty a steaming pot of boiling noodles not so used user friendly one thing to keep in mind is the distance between each point in your triangle there is no hard and fast rule but i like to keep each edge of the triangle somewhere between 40 and 60 your kitchen designer or interior designer will be able to help you plan out the best cleaners between your points based on your particular layout number three plan for an adequate to the amount of storage one of the major compliments i hear from clients looking to renovate their kitchen is the leak of storage their current space has even the smallest kitchen can maximize their storage by smart storage solution if you use small applicants regularly think about where would be the easiest play place to access them maybe create an ambulance garage with doors that reattract or building a large pantry with ball out drawers to easily lift out the intent pot other storage solution that can make your kitchen function with ease copy pots and pans drawers paint trays with ball out shelves or vacant pantries think of what items you use quite often and where the most convenient place to how them would be i love cooking with lots of herbs and spices so i had pull out spice drawers installed right next to my cooktop i can easily find what i need without leaving the stove also take advantage of spaces that might not be too easily accessible to house items you don't use every day i added hidden doors under the seating area at the island to store to store all my good serving pieces they only come out when entertaining so even though the location isn't best for everyday use it's perfect for accessing every now and again number four let there be light 
It seems simple, but having the right amount of light in your kitchen is so important. It amazes me how often this design element is overlooked. I always create electrical layouts to accompany my clients' kitchen drawings and recommend the following three types of lighting in a kitchen number one general lighting this is what lights up the entire space i usually recommend the recessed both lights for general lightings as it's the best way to entirely disperse light throughout the room at dimmer switches and they can be easily dimmed for parts or if you just want to set the mood for that romantic dinner pendant lights over islands or chandeliers over tables are also an example of general lighting but we have tend to use more statement pieces here that lend a decorative touch number two task lighting just as it sounds lighting that helps perform certain tasks under cabinet lighting is an example of task lighting that a lot of people tend to skip and it is so important shadows from overhead lighting can often be cast underneath the cabinets making prep work on the counters difficult even dangerous if your finger didn't see the blade of the knife coming interrogating your lighting within your cabinet design will lead to seem a seamless lock number three accent lighting this is the lighting that's not really necessary for function but highlights the wonderful design of your kitchen which you are going to want to show off up lighting or lighting in glass cabinets are a great example of accent lights under cabinet lighting is necessary for tasks but can also accent your upper cabinets and countertops beautifully number five choose your appliances ahead of time until you know what kind of appliances you want to put in your kitchen you want to be able to properly determine your layout if you like to cook as I do, you may want to option for six burner stove or cooktop. Number six, select the highest quality of materials your budget will allow. You didn't think I would leave without mentioning the foam board. The material and finish you select for your kitchen will dictate the look and feel of the room, but more importantly, will determine the longevity of the space top six design tips to help you plan your dream kitchen there are all very important points that need to be carefully considered before you begin your kitchen project probably the most important aspect to think about when planning a new kitchen or any space for that matter is to determine what function you wish it to serve you may be thinking that's a silly question i need a kitchen to cook and yes, you are totally right. 